What's up, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. <sighs> Sorry, I need to take a breath. The goal of this video today is to talk about how long it takes to get a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I've had to record this video 10 times because my cats keep attacking each other and hissing as I'm recording this video, and it's driving me insane. So please watch the video. <laughs> I would greatly appreciate it. All right. Woo, on to it. Let's take number 11, lucky charm. Okay, it's a common question I get from a lot of people, new students, normies. How long does it take to get to your black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? I've been training for 10 years. I'm a brown belt. And I get the normie saying, you've been training 10 years and you're a brown belt? What do you suck? I don't think I suck. I just think Jiu Jitsu is a very, very real and hard martial art. They'll, and then they would say, well, I got my black belt in Russian Kion from George Dillman in two years. I said, you have fun with your nine and 10 pressure points on your neck and hit him with the xiphoid method or whatever the hell he was talking about. We don't do xiphoid method in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. <laughs> we do blood, sweat and tears. Yes. All right. So here we go. Most of my belts have been earned. All of my belts have been earned. They've been given to me, but I've earned them. They just don't give you belts in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu without going through the work. It's hard. There's no set date or time or amount of classes in which one has to attend to get belts. Some schools will have trackers in place. Say you attend 40 classes and you're eligible for a stripe. Keyword, eligible. It's just to track attendance and see how long you've been showing up, you know? And if you don't show up, you don't get promoted. It's just that simple. I know for me, my belt's over here. My white belt had two stripes. My blue belt had three. My purple had two. My brown currently has three stripes. Stripes are arbitrary in my opinion. They're just there to mark how long you've been around in that belt, really. You don't call Abby Jeff up and say, I want my third stripe brown belt certificate. They don't do that. Um, it's just not a thing. So really, ultimately, everything is up to the interpretation of your instructor. However, there are certain things that are not up to your instructor. They are, but if you plan to compete in IBJJF, there are minimum belt time frames which you have to adhere to. Um, that, in my opinion, is to ensure the integrity of the traditional BJJ belting system, right? Not as a goal or benchmark. In fact, a lot of professors that I've encountered and I've talked to over my 10 years of jujitsu typically keep people at the color belts longer. It's kind of the opposite of what they, they do, and I'll explain that in a second. They're just guidelines, right? Typically, athletes will stay the color belt a little bit longer in hopes of winning adult worlds, pans, euros, brasileros. One would call them even sandbaggers. I've never been a sandbagger because I'm not that good, right? But I just keep showing up and I keep doing my thing. If I could offer any advice on belts, do not ask your professor when you're getting your belt. You'll be waiting a lot longer. Just don't do it. So let's see here. Um, on to the IBJF minimums. White belt, there's no minimum. You just show up and start training. Blue belt is a minimum two years. Purple belt is a minimum year and a half. Brown belt is minimum of a year. So from what I've seen in the majority of my experiences, it's reversed in terms of time frame. And I'll get to that in a second. What I mean by that is, so let's say you're training three times a week an hour, hour and a half a day, you could potentially see your white belt anywhere from nine to 18 months, sometimes two years. But let's just say it'll take you about a year of consistent training to get your blue belt on average, right? And you're gonna be a blue belt if you're training three times a week consistently, two years. Purple belt, two and a half. Brown belt, two and a half to three years. I know injuries come into play. Um, but what I recommend is if I'm injured is to show up, still get on the mat and just do the technique. Just do the technique if you're able to. Chop it up with the team, hang out, get mat time. Mat presence is key for progressing in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. It's the key, just show up. I've done the latter. 
I've been super injured and depressed and just stay home and don't show up to the gym. All my teammates are getting better than me. So when I come back to the gym, I'm about to get smashed. And this has happened a lot. So now I do the other one and show up and just do technique. I just do. It's just much better that way. Um, now, there are rare exceptions in cases of like BJ Penn or Travis Stevens, who are just freaks. Travis Stevens, Olympic judoka, you know, D1 wrestlers. If they want to compete at white belt tournaments, they can't because they're too good. They have to be a blue belt for IBJJF. You imagine a D1 wrestler going up against a white belt to train for two years and be flinging them across the mats all over the place because they have no idea what they're doing. So there are rare cases, right? It looks like a daunting number. However, I can tell you the journey is completely worth it. It tests you against you. If you put me against 10 Bruce 10 years ago, I would choke the shit out of him. Guaranteed. So when you're in the gym and you're training, compare yourself against you. Don't compare yourself to other people because I've done that before. And it's, it's just halts my progress. People progress at different rates. Some people are athletic. Some people have the previous training that we talked about. Judo, wrestling, sambo, pancration, whatever. Any, any of those type of martial arts. So they're by nature going to progress faster. You know? And as you move up the ranks, you're usually offered positions to teach fundamentals or intermediate classes. And that's going to up your game even more. Why, you say? Because it really makes you think about why you're doing every movement, why you're putting pressure in certain areas, why I move my hips this way, why I have this grip. It may really, you have to dissect and learn the technique to be able to teach it to someone that doesn't know what they're doing. So by default, you're just gonna get better. It's just the way it is. So that's my brief synopsis on how long it takes to get a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I wish you luck on your journey to black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. The few, the proud, the black belts. I'm not one yet. I hope to get one eventually. So this, the purpose of this channel, I'll end with this, is to spread hope and love to the masses through BJJ techniques, BJJ talking head videos, such as this, music reaction videos. Um, and I post a lot of cat videos too. Who doesn't like cats? I love cats, you know? Sorry, my head was going up and down a little bit because I had talking points because I have ADHD really bad and I'm all over the place. So, thank you for taking the time to stop by and check out this video. If you have any comments, suggestions, anything you want to see from me, leave it in the comment. Hit the thumbs up. Subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. It just helps me further my audience, you know. Because um, my goal in life, I just want to help people. I do. I'm just, I'm here for you. So with that, good luck on your journey to black belt. Ooze.